Using the motor coder and Panasonic servo drive, I will demonstrate the initial setup for driving a linear motor. To control it, I set up the Panasonic servo drive in the following order. First, using the program motor auto setup, I set the motor and encoder specifications and tune the current control gain. Second, using the program Panaterm, I tune the position gain and speed gain while performing a test drive and set the operating conditions, etc. Third, I set the setting value so that the Panaterm does not capture the electrical angle, and then I finish. The motor coder is a linear encoder that senses the absolute position at full stroke when the battery is connected. Even if the battery is not connected, it always senses the absolute position in one pole pair of the magnet cycle. If you find and save the electrical angle only once, you do not need to find the electrical angle even when you turn the power off and on. The left is the motor auto setup program execution screen, and the bottom right is a motor driving demonstration video. I will tell you how to set some typical parameters. In the basic parameter settings, select linear and select absolute position linear encoder as the encoder. In the feedback scale resolution, enter 0.732 micrometers, which is the resolution of the motor coder. In the linear motor's magnetic one pole pair period, the distance from the magnet end pole to the next end pole, enter 48 millimeters to match the linear motor. Note that it is not the distance between the end pole and the S pole. Input the current, thrust, actuator weight, maximum load ratio, rated speed, and maximum speed by referring to the linear motor specifications and considering the operating conditions used. Next, set the magnetic poles detection method to 2, finding the pole, estimation. When you click right, the parameters are saved in the servo drive, and when a message to turn it off and on appears, do it and click next. In the second step, tune the current control gain. If there is no load, run at 50% to 100% rated current. Click run at the bottom right to run. A warning will be displayed to warn you that the motor will move, so be careful not to crash. The motor will make a noise and move slightly, then click right and next when complete. A graph that automatically tunes the current control gain will be displayed, and if there is no abnormal behavior, click right. When a message that right is complete is displayed, click next to complete the setting. The third step is to match the movement direction of the linear motor and the increased direction of the linear encoder according to the wiring of the motor coil. In general, Select the movement distance for magnetic pole detection as the default value of two pole pole pitch and click run. Similarly, a warning will be displayed to be prepared to turn off the power immediately in case of abnormal behavior because the motor will move. When magnetic pole detection is complete, finish is displayed and a final confirmation window appears. Click OK and turn it off and on to complete the basic parameter settings. Finally, exit the motor auto setup program and run a program called Panaterm. Do a test drive to check if the settings are correct. Change the parameters so that the magnetic pole detection is not performed from now on. If you click servo on without changing the basic parameters during the test drive, an error occurs immediately and the motor stops. Turn the servo drive off and on and wait for the servo drive and computer to reconnect. In the protection function setting, the motor operating range is set to 0.5 times the magnetic pole pair. During magnetic pole detection, the mover moved beyond the set operating range and an error occurred. Let's change the motor operating range to 4 times the magnetic pole pair. When I turn on the servo again, the motor moves a little and an error occurs. After checking what error occurred, I select the alarm from the top menu. I will enlarge the error list that occurred. The error code indicates that magnetic pole detection failed. When detecting the magnetic pole, the mover moved faster than the maximum speed limit of 100 mm per second in the protection function setting, so the magnetic pole detection failed. I turn the servo drive off and on again and wait for it to connect. I change the motor operating range to 4, the jog speed to 100 mm per second, and the maximum speed limit in the protection function to 200 mm per second. When I click on servo on, the motor mover moves a little, and the servo on succeeds. If I move the mover forward and backward in jog mode, you can see that it works well. The forward end position and reverse end position moved in the jog operation are the test operation movement range. You can't see it on the current screen, but I select the test operation menu at the bottom right. The forward end position is about 180,000 counts and the reverse end position is about 200,000 counts, so the total possible movement distance is about 380,000 counts. 
I set the movement distance to 350,000 counts, which is 256 millimeters. Since the movement distance is short, I set the test operation speed to 100 millimeters per second. You can see that it moves well by driving it forward and backward once. I will execute the step sequence under the same conditions. I changed the speed to 300 mm per second and operated it continuously. You can see that the mover is controlled well. I changed the speed to 500 mm per second and operated it continuously. Likewise, you can see that the mover is controlled well. Usually, using the waveform graph function, I tune the control gain while looking at the speed, position, and load ratio. In this video, I did not do the Panasonic tuning in detail. Instead, you can see that I changed the setting value so that the servo drive no longer performs magnetic pole detection. The motor coder always senses the absolute position in one pole pair of magnets even if the battery is not connected. Therefore, you only need to perform magnetic pole detection once and save the magnetic pole detection value to the servo drive. You will not need to perform magnetic pole detection even if you turn the power off and on again. For more information, please refer to the video related to magnetic pole detection in the description below. After turning off the servo, I click on the parameter and select read from the amplifier, Panasonic servo drive. In the drop-down menu on the top left, I select by function, and in the menu below, I select setting of detection, which is the magnetic pole detection setting method. The first magnetic pole detection value on the right is set to 2. The value 2 means that the servo drive estimates or detects the position of the magnetic pole when the servo drive is turned off and on. The value 3 means that the position of the magnetic poles is restored, and the saved value is read. Since I just detected the position of the magnetic poles and saved the magnetic pole detection value, I will select number 3 to read the magnetic pole detection value next time. When I click on Change Settings from the right menu, a displayed message is to save it to EEPROM. When I click on EEP, the changed parameters are displayed, and I confirm that the fifth value, the magnetic poles detection method, has been changed from number 2 to number 3, and I click OK. I turn the servo drive off and on and wait for it to be reconnected. I move the mover to an arbitrary position by hand. I go to the test drive menu and click on servo on. After confirming that the linear motor is servo on, I drive the mover in the forward and reverse directions in jog mode. Just before, when I turned the power off and on and turned the servo on, the motor moved a little and detected the magnetic poles, but this time, it started immediately without detecting the magnetic poles. I set the motor operation range to 10 pole pitch and the movement speed to 300 mm per second. I continuously drive it in step mode at 300 mm per second. In this way, I explained how to set parameters, detect the magnetic poles, save the values, and change the magnetic pole detection method value using the motor coder and Panasonic servo drive. And I demonstrated driving the linear motor right away without detecting the magnetic poles after turning the power off and on. Thank you for watching. Sensor Lab